prepare for launch. The commander wants you in an excellent for this mission. Okay. Got you outfitted with ion missiles. Okay. They disable enemy fighters and they'll disable subsystems on enemy capital ships too. Let's do the launch. Yeah, good. Um, there we go. Alright, here we go. Yavin Prime. This place always brings back memories. Let's hope for some of that Skywalker luck today. Alright, ready Vanguard? We're heading for the heart of the action. Vanguard, follow his lead. This is Talus Leader, calling for immediate assistance. Captain Antilles with Vanguard Squadron. Here to help. It's damn good to see you, Wedge. We've taken heavy losses. We need that Star Destroyer stopped. Don't you worry. We're here to hijack it. You're what? Be ready. Interceptors. Those have got to be the first to go. Agreed. They're fast. They'll rip right through our fighters. Vanguard, prioritize targets. Enemies locked on to me. On your way. I'll bet you this time, motherfucker. Circle me, you little bastard. <laughs> Woo! And, uh, get up out of here. This one? No, oh, hold the fuck of shield. There we go. Let's do it. Putting power to four shields. All that damage, and this thing still has teeth. No wonder the task of the Legion just chasing it here. I wanted to see the Victorian go up in flames. Stealing it. <laughs> I like that even better. I'm in formation. 
is our chance to capture that Star Destroyer. If we take the bridge, we'll have access to its internal systems. Scan for a breach point, so we can send an aborting team. You're up, Five. Bridging a Star Destroyer, just like the old days. Look out, Vanguard! We got a gunny story incoming! Five hasn't heard it. Sure. Just tell me when I can turn my comms back on. If your comms are off, how can we tell you to... No, oh, forget it. Here! We can send the team in here. The Fugo fighter's incoming. Five, get a punch, will you? Right in the trash chute. Now, push those last fighters back. Clear the skies. Can't get behind me, dumb bitch. I'm just going in circles. Ah! That's it. All fighters destroyed. Great work. New wings are on their way. We can bring the boarding team in safely. Follow me to the morning. We'll give them cover. Back up. Let's go.
regroup with Wedge. On me, Vanguard. Let's regroup at the Victorum. The boarding team might need support. We're almost through those blast doors! We've got another Imperial carrier! Make that three carriers. That's a lot. Get ready, everyone. We're in! Taking control now! <laughs> that Star Destroyer's taken down its own carrier! What a sight! Yes! The ship is ours! You actually did it! And Project Starhawk has a Star Destroyer. Did it. Efficiency is still crap, but I didn't die this time, so I guess that's a plus. Let's see what Gunny's got to see. Now the Empire's gonna want that Star Destroyer back. Good. Let's see him try and take it. You know, back home, after the Empire invaded Mimbin, we stole an armored transport hauler full of scout walkers. When the Empire came looking for them, we just turned the walkers against them. Had a real good time. Nice. I'm guessing the commander has something similar in mind for this Star Destroyer. Right? Otherwise, what's the point? They just wait to pick the right team for the job, huh? Those slackers in Alphabet Squadron still be fapping around at Yavin. <laughs> Enough yapping. Time to check with the commander and see what's next. All right, Keo. Now that was a fun mission. Even better than beating my time on the Death March circuit. We got to steal a Star Destroyer and help our friends doing it. And see Yavid. We still have allies on the fourth moon, but I've never been there. There was an energy at Yavin like I've never felt anywhere else. It was chaotic and serene all at once. The Empire corrupts the energy of every planet it touches. But I can always feel the good buried beneath that. And that's what we You felt have the, the Force. Anyway, I saw Frisk bothering Commander Javes earlier. Knowing Frisk, the Commander might appreciate some backup. Okay, so let's inspect that. Read the trash can. Not now, Frisk. I'll answer your questions once the Star Destroyer has been delivered safely. Delivered where? We risked our tails to get that Star Destroyer. And you can't even tell us where we're going? It's not my call. Besides, I'd be risking a lot of lives if I shared too much too soon. You hearing this? After all we did for Project Starhawk. Listen, all I can tell you is the basics. Linden, our soldiers on the Star Destroyer Victorum just sent to Code Yellow. Now? Damn. Call in Vanguard for immediate briefing. Ah, heck. It was just getting good. Okay, we that's brief. It's only four of us? The Star Destroyer you captured Five. has unexpectedly fallen out of a hyperspace behind enemy lines. Our troops are repairing the hyperdrive as quickly as possible, but you need to buy them some time. There's an Imperial fleet advancing toward the Star Destroyer Victorum. I want A-wings intercepting enemy fighters. The rest of Vanguard will provide defense and support. I know Imperial protocol better than most. 
I have no doubt the Empire will disable the Victorum with ion weapons before sending shuttles to recapture it. Stop them at all costs. The Empire must not reclaim the Victorum. Once the Star Destroyer's hyperdrive is operational, cover its escape so it can jump to safety. I'll send you rendezvous coordinates when the time is right. All right, Gunny. I remember the first time I was trapped behind enemy lines. It was the Battle of Mimbin, the first year of the Clone Wars. The Separatists had dropped a battalion of B-2 droids on the Nanth Flatlands, cutting us off from the 224th Clone Division. A thunderstorm was jamming communications, so I took bitching. a Skyhopper to rendezvous with the 224, hoping to get some reinforcements. It didn't go well. I was halfway across the flatlands when those droids shot me down. And believe me, you have never seen a finer crash landing. The only problem was my arm got caught in some wreckage. Figured I'd rather she live just my realized life she's got a robotic arm. Kind of wait for those droids to find me. Wow. Besides, you only need one hand to carry a blaster, right? I dragged myself out of those flatlands with only one arm and a seriously sour disposition. I guarantee those clone boys had never seen anything like me before, but they fixed me up. Then they helped us drive those blasted droids right off planet. If only I'd known that three years later, those clones would be replaced by stormtroopers. But anyway, we should head back to the hangar. The Victorum needs us. Okay. Since everyone there, everyone there, let's see what they got to say. This is my fault. I underestimated the repairs. Now the whole project's at risk. Hyperdrive's break, Otto. It's not your fault. I should have suggested you send more engineers to Yavin. Then this never would have happened. It's fine. Vanguard is ready. They'll get there in time. Won't you? I know. I yes. Know, but I'll reach out to Hosni and Prime and requisition a few more engineers. Just in case. Good. Get moving, pilot. Yes, sir. Let's do this. She doesn't want to see anything? Frisk and Keo, okay. We were just talking about what happened to the Victorum, and Keo had one of those... Uh, what do you call them? It's just a hunch, Frisk, that's all. So what do you think happened? I feel like it was the Imperials. They probably sabotaged the hyperdrive before our soldiers could get them off the ship. I know it sounds wild, but when Keo has a hunch, they're usually right. Don't listen to him. It's really not that big of a deal. On Miriel, we're taught to respect and listen to the Force. I can't reach out and touch it like, well, like others could, but sometimes I just have a feeling about things. I don't like to talk about it. She has the force, I called it. That's a bitch and right. Let's get serious, huh? When are you gonna have a premonition about the Carillion lottery? Really? People are waiting for us to save them, and you're thinking about credits. Look, you see any numbers, just tell me, okay? They gotta be good for something. <laughs> we really should get going. Okay, let's go. Prepare for launch. A wings go as fast Oof. as you can fly them. Their hull and shields are too light to take on capital ships, but Imperial starfighters won't stand a chance with you in this uh, cockpit. Speed, acceleration. Mm, okay. Oh, customize my starfighter. Oh, what? I'm pressing square. We have a few options to make your tie hunting more efficient. Big fan of the rapid fire lasers on Barrage. Okay, let's just go launch mission. <coughs> so I'm in an A wing this time, huh? Alright, let's do this.